Most business leaders go into those roles underprepared, ill-equipped, and with poor models to reference to. Consider how often you've witnessed other leaders or even yourself struggling to get by. Look at these examples. This is all her fault. We might lose this client because of this. I can't believe I have to keep putting up with her. She is the worst. This is, ugh. it's ridiculous. And I end up having to redo it. I just, I can't. I have to do it all myself. Oh, this job wouldn't be nearly so hard if it wasn't for these people, the way they act. Everything I'm doing is so good and they're just trying to tear me down. She's not pulling her weight and he's refusing to change the project. I just don't know what we're gonna do. How am I supposed to solve all of this and figure these people out? As a leader, the most important thing you can do is take control of yourself. That means taking control of your thoughts, what you are thinking, because no matter what is going on, no matter what you have as a problem, it's never that other person. It's never the circumstance. It's always how you choose to think about it. As a leader, you're responsible for training and equipping, inspiring other people. But how is any of that supposed to happen if you can't first be in touch with your own thoughts, your own self-confidence, and your maturity to lead your team. You get started by learning how to take control of your most valuable asset, your mind. It can all get better. If you are open to embracing leadership in a new way, in a way that doesn't have to feel so overwhelming and burdensome, actually gets you excited to lead a team and see the possibilities, then this is for you. No matter what stage of business you're at right now, we have leadership coaching that can come alongside you and help to train you, to grow you, and to take you to that next level.